raising money for the purposes of giving out $50 loans. Is that what Global Partnerships does? Well, yes and no. So Global Partnerships is a nonprofit impact-led investor, and we invest capital in social enterprises, uh, cooperatives, uh, microfinance institutions that are in country. And so those partners are not only providing access to credit in the form of loans to their clients, but they're also providing essential products and services. Um, our theory of change believes that if you provide somebody with a loan, but you don't provide them with the products and services that they need, so that may be uh, information about how to be able to grow a stronger crop, how to bring your products to market. If that does not happen, then you can actually indent, indent that entrepreneur further. So our, our theory of change is supported by, and our investments are supported by, in-country partners that are going to be delivering, as I said, not only that credit, but also providing those services to marginalized populations. So yes, a $50 or $100 loan can make a difference within someone's life. But we believe that it will make the difference in someone's life when they are partnering with a strong entity and country that is helping them to expand their opportunity. So basically, money's not enough. Money can get you so far, but you need to be able to have the opportunity to be able to understand how to be able to use that money in a way that allows you to be able to uh, build a business and have that business thrive or to be able to grow a better crop. Um, how many countries are you in? So we're in 14 different countries. We're in Latin America, so South America, Central America. Uh, we are in Mexico. And we just recently, in June of 2015, entered into Sub-Saharan Africa. Oh. So we're focused on Rwanda, Tanzania, Uganda, and Kenya. Oh. Now, you don't deal directly with the borrowers you know, on the ground, do you? No. So our model is that we work through in-country partners. We make investments in those in-country partners. Those in-country partners are working directly with their clients. However, we do have an office in Nicaragua that focuses on Latin America, and we have an office in Nairobi, Kenya that focuses on East Africa. And our portfolio directors are not only meeting with the partners to ensure that they're delivering the access to credit and their services, but they're also uh, meeting with clients to understand from those clients' perspective that they're actually getting the services that they're supposed to be from those entities. So Americans who hear about microcredit, they may uh, may hear interest right. rates of 38, 39, 45%, mm -hmm. and they would just be aghast. But it's a lot more than just but then just money is, is what the borrower is getting, is that right? Correct, in, in, in our model. Yeah. And also, uh, it depends on, every country is different. And you have to remember, when someone is not able to get access to credit, so in Latin America, the majority of women cannot go into a bank and get credit because they don't have any collateral, mm -hmm. they don't have any assets that are in their name. So the opportunity to be able to work with an enterprise like we do, whether that be a microfinance institution or a cooperative or a social enterprise, and be able to get that access access to credit may be the only means for them to actually expand their opportunity. They're um, being able to get, depending on the country, depending on the organization, their loans can range in a variety of different percentages. Mm -hmm. On our model, when we invest in and provide investment capital within a partner, we are actually uh, at a very, we have a very low rate that we're charging our partners for the investment that we're making in them. Mm -hmm. Um, it used to be that um, microcredit was the kind of thing where agriculturally, that's where people really went uh, if they had an agricultural need. Is that still the model or is it expanding out? It's expanding out. So I'll give you an example with Global Partnerships. So we currently have seven initiatives. Our goal is to have 20 initiatives. So we have women-centered finance with education. We have women-centered finance with health. We have smallholder mm -hmm. farmer services. Solar is a good example. Solar. Mm -hmm. Is, um, is making great strides in particular if you look there's over two billion people on the planet that are living off the grid the majority of those people living in poverty if you're able to get a solar lamp and get a loan for a solar lamp not only can you um, extend your work day but it's also reduces health hazards uh, if you're not, you're not taking in toxic smoke from a kerosene lamp you're also able to charge a cell phone which is 
counter to what many people think. They think that in developing countries that people don't, um, why do they have access to a cell phone? But actually, a cell phone is their only means of communication, and it's more expensive. And banking. To and banking. Yeah. Um, so uh, there's a variety of different applications that uh, we can imply impact investing to mm -hmm. beyond agriculture based on today's economy yeah, within those countries. Back. The payback rate of money borrowed from, uh, ultimately, from global partnerships used to be among the highest in the industry. It's between 97 and 98 percent. Wow, that's uh, better than loans here. Absolutely. And, um, and if you look at someone who's able to get a $50 loan and then a $100 loan, now they're able to maybe get a $1,000 loan, a $2,000 loan. There are people that receive multiple loans, mm -hmm. but their payment rate is very high. It's higher with women than it is with men. So men can be anywhere between the 92 to 94 percent. Women is about 97 seven to 98 percent mm -hmm. repay their loans. Do you still do circle loans? Uh, the loans that are guaranteed by the circle? Uh, yes, so um, we call them, so that is um, through the village banking system. Mm -hmm. And the village banking system is a very powerful model, as you know, an opportunity for, in particular, for women to come together and that each one of the people within that circle, as you call it, um, guarantees the loan of the other person. And uh, they provide an opportunity also for self-esteem and for dignity. They, mm -hmm. they help each other, um, in particular in Latin America, where there can be um, culturally biases of um, health care and of culturally biases of uh, domestic abuse. The women actually help each other and insulate each other and support each other, not just from guaranteeing the loans, but from also having the community aspect of self-esteem and dignity. Wow. i got to just tell you, it must really be f fulfilling to be able to work for an organization that, that positively touches the lives of so many people. How many have you touched? So we've touched over 4.4 million people in the 20 years that Global Partnerships has been an impact-led investor. Our goal, our mission, is to impact um, by 2024, our aspiration at least, is to reach 30 million lives touched. And we feel confident that we'll be able to achieve that goal. Wow, fantastic. Neil, thank you very much for Thank you. Us. Nice to see you. You too.